Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 30th of October 2020, your weekend. However much of it left there is for you. Not too much left here, it's now Sunday evening. Um, but you know, a little bit and I've uh, had food already and so should be ready to go for the Los Angeles Times expert level game now yesterday this was a real doozy <laughs> is that a right word that's american slang i'm not sure what that means but anyway it was a tough game a beast of a game yesterday uh it took far too long um uh, for me to finish the uh, video um, but anyway let's see how well we can do this evening so i'm just going to jump into it then and see oops the nines across here with a nine down here and that's going to put a nine into that square there and I see nines blocking like this for row three here. That means we've got one empty square. Nine has to fit there. And that's all we can do for the nines right now, I guess. One, on the other hand, can go up here and up here and can be placed just like that, as Tommy Cooper used to say. One across here, or one across here, and one down like that. One will fit there. I wonder if anybody actually remembers Tommy Cooper on this channel. <laughs> I always thought he was funny when I was a kid. It's a long time ago. We have fives blocking down here and five up here. That's got to be a five. We have five across here and across here and down here. That also is a five we have five down here and five down here and five across here there's yet another five and five cross and across oops wrong key down again and five up here for the final five Now I see two blocking this square, and I see two blocking this square, and I don't see a two in this row. Now I do. Two blocks down here, two blocks across here, so two in one of these two squares, blocking back in that direction. Two across here, two down, the two must go there. Okay, we have four blocking down here, so four appears in one of these two squares, blocking down there, four blocking down there as advertised, four across here and across here. We have to put one there, put it there, partner. Okay, I see a six blocking across here, so the six goes in that square. Now this four blocking down there actually puts the four there, and this will be a seven for that block. Are we lacking threes and eights? I say that because I see a three and eight here and I see a three and eight missing here. So maybe we're short on threes and eights today. It's possible. Uh, we have six down, six up, and six across, so six in that square there. F 
four blocks here and four blocks there. Here are four, there are four, here are four. And uh, this four blocking both of those squares there and this four blocking this square. So for this column, that's where the four must go. Right, maybe that's the end of the easy stuff. Maybe from here on in it's going to be tougher. I know the fours are highlighted, that doesn't mean I'm looking at the fours. I'm getting a telephone call. Oh, I'm going to have to go and take it. Excuse me, I'll be back soon. Hi fellow Sudokans, I'm back uh, after getting a spam, a very short telephone call because as soon as I picked it up, it, there was a recorded message, obviously spam. Isn't that annoying? Uh, we never used to get that so much uh, in Thailand, but we have had it of recently. We've had it uh, quite a bit, I guess. It's very annoying. Um, <clears throat> now, I was kind of looking at threes in my, he uh, in my head. Actually, I was looking at this block down here before I um, went off there. Uh, what do I know? I know that twos are in those these squares, and I know that threes are here. Two, three, uh, seven. I don't know much about. Oh, hang on. Yes, I do. Seven's block here, so seven is in these squares, and then up here we've got left and right. So actually, this is a pair of sevens down here. Uh, okay. Um. And this is a pair of eights up here. Hmm.
Ah, got something. Six blocks this square here, six blocks these two squares. So in the bottom row, that's where the six goes then. Then we can do six up here, six up here, six across here. That's space for the six. Oh no, <laughs> I thought I was lacking a four up here, no, I'm not. Uh, we've got, all missing from this column is one, two, and oh, nine, that's it, I, knew, I thought there was something up there. Okay, nine's blocking up there, so that's the nine, and we're going to be left with one and two in these squares here. Um, more to the point, two up there and two across there, so two has to be in that square there. Uh, this is 1 and 2, this is 7 and 8. 7s and 8s are tricky and annoying. If this is 7 and 8, that of course is 7 and 8 as well. This is 3 and Eight and this is three, seven, and eight. Ah, got another one. Nine blocking up here, nine blocking up here, and nine across there. So that's where the nine goes. And now one blocking across here and one up there. That's going to put a one in that square there. And we're going to be left with the ones there. So we've got ones like that now. Eight is the real problem for this grid, I think. Eight is the number that's kind of obscure. It appears in too many places, too many possibilities for eight. Um, it just get. Let me click on it. Yeah, it's still the only one. Yeah, it is still the only um, eight on here. Of course, we know that eights are in those squares there as well. But, and up here, and there. So we know some more information about it, but it's a problem number. Maybe this would be a good idea for me to uh, go through the digits. By the way, 5 and 9 are actually done, completed. So uh, 1 I know already, I can't do anything on that. 2s, um, can't do the 2s because we are limited to this and this and here and here. Threes are up here like so. somewhere over there like that up here we really don't know very much uh, and 
and over here limited there so like this oops like that over here we don't really know much about threes unfortunately fours I know I like this already I kind of worked out a long time ago sixes uh, where do we need a six? Ah, oh, look at that. We can get a six right now. A six like this. Six across. Is that the last one? Oh, it was. There was one more six to get. I didn't realize. Thank you for telling me, dear viewer. Sevens, then. Let's go. What's going on with the sevens? Like that, like that. And like this, and down here. Sevens like that. Uh, and there, and there. But again, over here, rather too many possibilities. Can you get anything out of that? Uh, I don't think I can. Nines we have, so there's just eights to look at. Uh, this Our problem child of the day. Yuck. Don't know what to suggest with eights. So, that little bit was done. Now, what did I just put in? I put in a six here, didn't I? So, I should have to check over here and see uh, this column again, maybe. Let's see what's going on. I know threes are in those squares. Uh, what else do we need? We need seven. Seven's going to appear there. And those damn eights again. Eights can appear like that, I guess. Hmm. Where to, where to, where to? Um, so, uh, you know, if I'm going to try and do this without pencil marks, the only thing I can think of doing now is to look at each block. I can't really see. Uh, I'm just going to have to look at each block and see if, I, see if I can see where the numbers go in each block, if I can make any deductions or not um okay i'm going to start left to right like this go across the top uh, I, i'm not very confident about this though so i know threes can still go anywhere i know that fours are there and i know that eights can go anywhere um over here um Threes are here, eights are anywhere, and sevens are like this. Over here, is that a three eight? Oh no, 
it's going to be seven. <sighs> hmm. Sorry about that. I was just experimenting there with something I thought I might have seen, but no, had not seen. Right, okay. Um, so threes, okay, fours are there. Threes can go anywhere they feel like. Uh, sevens are up here. Eights are anywhere. This block I've looked at plenty of times. I don't really. See. I'm going to have to go with the pencil marks. I think. Uh, I, I've looked. Uh, hang on, hang on. What am I doing here? One, two. Hang on. Oh no, two eight. I can't see it without pencil marks. I'm sorry. Um, I just I've looked. I can't. <laughs> I can't see it without pencil marks. I don't know what's going on. I just can't get it. Um, and there are not that many numbers left, are there? So there's probably some kind of um, Sudoku logic, like a naked pair somewhere. Um, but I can't see it can't remember oh, can't put all of these digits into my head <laughs> some of you can I think uh, I can't but there are not that many left that's why it's frustrating you know um, it feels like I, I ought to be able to from this position but I can't so I need to put in the pencil marks to see the pattern that will take me out of this stalemate that I'm in. Okay, that's it. I've decided. Sorry, pencil marks for me now. Okay, let's put. Oops, let's put ones into these squares here, like so. Let's put twos into. Uh, oh no, twos into these squares here and there. Uh, threes, let's put threes there and over here and there and uh, fours go in here and here and five, six done, so seven are uh, pair there and there also down here and also down here and this is seven and eight by the way pair of sevens there okay do we know can we restrict eights to pairs yes here's a pair of eights there I also know that that is eight up there. And that 
that's about it nine is done so that's it so then I've just got to put in the other candidates and uh, fingers crossed right so missing numbers here are three and eight let's put them in three eight let's put in the uh, oh sorry threes go there and let's put in the eights here like this and then over here uh, three again can go anywhere now and um, that's done so we get three eight three eight yeah three four three four yep okay down here what's missing um eight i guess which can go anywhere the eights are the ones that killed me on this grid and uh, over here what are we lacking eight when do we want it now eights can go like that and finally down here uh, let's see ones are in place two blocks down here like this but two can still appear in those squares there we have three blocking across here and down here so we have three in those squares seven blocks down here so seven still possible like that and where is our eight do we know anything about eight do we have any pointing pairs anywhere no we really don't so i don't think i missed anything too obvious when i was doing that but look now now i see it here we go i guess there had to be a naked pair somewhere uh, i just can't keep all of this this stuff in my head but for those of you who can congratulations look here's our pair of seven and eight it means that this must be a three uh, immediately and then eight and then everything else will work out from there i am sure seven goes there uh seven is down here and uh shall i do a bit of uh removal furniture removals okay let's get rid of the seven here and get rid of the seven there um, what else let's get rid of the uh, three in that square and the three over here as well because of this three here right and um, also I've got to get rid of the seven and eight here because that's the row that has the pair of seven and eight right so now we're left with one two in fact we've got a bit of a unique rectangle here one two one two so i can get rid of the one and the two from there as well just to lighten the load a little um and now we're left with a single one here like this so one is there one is there two is there and uh i've got to get rid of seven up there as well let's do that now um Okay, shall we just um, step lightly through the, uh, tiptoe lightly through the digits and see what's available to us at discount pricing. Uh, we've got two and eight here now, a pair of two and eight. So this has to be the three because it can't be the eight. And then we've got the eight and the three. So this would be a seven now giving us an eight here and the two is in that square the eight goes here the two is here the two goes there the eight is there uh, this eight means that this is a seven of course with our eight positioned here and this will be a three let's get rid of those threes shall we leaving us with four eight this three means that this is a four three goes in this square this four means that this is an eight with a four there uh, we have an eight here that puts a three in that square seven goes there seven is there so i kind of um you know guessed what it would be but couldn't find it 
I just find it too difficult to remember it to, to more than a couple of numbers in my head <laughs> at one time. But anyway, a nice game. I enjoyed it. That's the Los Angeles Times expert level game. Definitely not as difficult as yesterday's game, um, but uh, just as enjoyable in its own way. Thank you very much. Bye bye.